Wow, didn't know I had this many fans. The first speech I ever gave to my classmates in grade two began with the word, imagine. The second speech I ever gave to my classmates in grade three French class began with the word, imagine. The third speech I ever gave to my class in grade three began with, okay, okay, I think you get the point. From grade two to grade eight, I had always imagined dreaming big, and I had always imagined that anything is possible. I am Blake Latimer, and today, I'm going to be talking about how to find the extraordinary in the ordinary. And to do so, I'm going to begin by talking about three of my favorite things. Country music, the office, and of course, the Cleveland Browns. One of my absolute favorite country songs is Chicken Fried by Zac Brown Band. It is such a simple song that talks about fried chicken, a refreshing cold beverage, and a pair of jeans all on a Friday night. Three very ordinary objects that we see in our everyday lives. But this song means so much more than this. This was the debut song to Zac Brown Band's career. During the writing process of the song, Zac Brown and White Durrett took a blank piece of paper and started jotting down all the things they love in life. They wrote and wrote and wrote until they had a long list of all the things they appreciate. They dreamed big, they worked hard, and they pushed themselves to create a song out of the list. Later that year, people began to love the song as it skyrocketed up to number one on the Billboard Top 100 for country song. To this day, the song has over five million copies sold and it is known as one of the most extraordinary country songs. And yet, it all started with them talking about the ordinary things they love. Another example is my favorite TV show, The Office. For those who don't know, one, it is the best show on Netflix, hands down. And two, it is a mock documentary about a small, ordinary paper company in Scranton, Pennsylvania. From the outside, the company is in an ordinary gray building, and they're selling an ordinary product like paper. But what the show focuses on is the people. The people live their lives ordinarily, but they all bring a different piece that creates the puzzle to make the company extraordinary. Every day they come into the office with big dreams, like making Dunder Mifflin the number one paper supplier. They work hard every day to sell paper, and they push themselves to complete their daily tasks. Although all of this is relatively ordinary, when they come together, they are able to perform the extraordinary. Pam Beasley, one of the main characters, summed it up perfectly in the series finale when she said, there's a lot of beauty in ordinary things. Isn't that kind of the point? Now, my next example is my favorite football team, the Cleveland Browns. In early 2018, though, Cleveland had not won a football game in 635 days. That's almost two gosh darn years, pardon my language, without winning a football game. They had set the record for the longest losing streak in professional sports history. The team was beaten up and hopeless until one Monday night football game against the New York Jets. Tyrod Taylor, the starting quarterback for Cleveland, got hit hard and he was injured. Although this setback looked tough, it wasn't until the backup rookie quarterback, Baker Mayfield, stepped up to achieve the extraordinary. He had never played a single professional NFL game in his career and he had all the pressure to turn around this Cleveland team. In his first game, he entered and he led the team to their first win in 635 games. And it did not just end there. He then went on to lead the Browns to seven more wins that season. He was awarded offensive captain for the 2019-2020 season. Baker dreamed big, put in the hard work, and challenged himself and the team to make the team extraordinary. Now, I must add, this year they are quite ordinary again, maybe even less than ordinary, but that's a story for another time. For those in chapel on Friday, you would have heard Jenna, June, and I sing a prelude. That was the first time I had ever sung in front of a group larger than three people. At first, I was extremely scared and nervous to do it because it was something that was new to me and something that came with high risk. To do this, it all started with a dream. Ever since I was in grade nine, I'd imagined myself right there at the front of the chapel singing a song. I had a big dream that I was determined to achieve. Although in grade nine, 10, and 11, I was too scared 
and when an opportunity came up to, for me to sing, I ran away. It wasn't until the start of this year when I had finally set a date to achieve my dream. Then to do this, I knew I needed to work hard. The group and I spent many hours together practicing the song, but I knew for this prelude to be extraordinary, I needed to give it that little bit extra. Most nights leading up to last Friday, I'd be in my room strumming and singing away, working hard to perfect the song. You have no idea how many times my roommate Jake must have heard the line, what you waiting for? I still have no clue what he's waiting for. <laughs> then, the final step to achieving this dream was stretching myself. I had to push my comfort zones to do something that I'd never done before. When our personal, ordinary efforts came together, we created something that is, in my completely non-biased opinion, was quite extraordinary. We did not end up signing a record contract yet, but we all pushed ourselves to try something new and create a special moment. In these examples, they took something ordinary and shaped it into something extraordinary. So the big question today is how can you shift your daily lives from ordinary to extraordinary? Well, it takes three steps. Dream big, work hard, and push yourself. The first step is dreaming big. Dreaming big starts with something, finding something you're passionate about, whether it's hockey, soccer, music, or art, and working each and every day to become better. With no dream in mind, it becomes truly difficult to achieve the extraordinary. Even if your big dream doesn't work out in the, doesn't work out in the end, you will still end up closer than you had originally begun. I understand that big dreams don't always work out. Trust me. But what differentiates the ordinary from the extraordinary is that little bit of push to keep going. If you can't stop thinking about an idea, never stop working for it. The second step to achieving the extraordinary is working hard. Every day, think about what you can do to make that day not known as Wednesday, not known as Thursday, but make it known as your day. Working hard does not necessarily mean running a marathon or even performing the impossible of getting a good deal at Okies. It all starts with the little things, like working hard to spread positivity, working hard to be a good friend, and even working hard to manage your temptations, not to cut in the dining hall lines, even on pasta day. The best quarterback in the NFL once said, it doesn't matter the position you're in, if you're not going to work hard, you're not going to do it right. Baker Mayfield. The third step is to push yourself outside of your comfort zone. I've shared a few stories about other people, so it's only fair that I share another story about myself. <clears throat> During the summer, I was at work and I had the dreaded job of taking out the garbage. To make things worse, there was a broken piece of glass at the bottom of the bag. So the bag swung by my leg and then, whoosh, the glass sliced my leg. At first, I felt nothing, which isn't that surprising because pain doesn't faze me. Then I looked down and I saw the gash on my leg. So one thing led to another and I went to the hospital to get stitches. Now at this point, my leg was all stitched up but it was five in the morning with no taxis around and my cottage being a 20 minute drive away. My dad and I were stranded at the hospital until the man across from us saw our situation and he kindly offered to drive us home. He pushed himself outside of his comfort zone to spread kindness and he did such a small task but it will forever be seen in my eyes as extraordinary. Now, the beauty of the extraordinary is that it differs from person to person. It can be anything from winning a national championship, finally finishing that project that you've worked so hard on, hard on or even, again, getting a deal at Okies. <laughs> extraordinary could even be spreading happiness and kindness. Now, think of the people in your daily lives. After a while, the people like your friends, your teachers, your advisors, your coaches, your parents and your siblings, heck, even my siblings, Abby, Jack, and Sadie, they're all in the back, they all wanted me to highlight an extraordinary moment about them. That's all I have on that note. <laughs> to become truly extraordinary, it starts with recognition and appreciation for all the people that contribute so much towards your life. Once you begin to appreciate these people, take their advice and not take them for granted, they will help you dream big, work hard, and push yourself.
so that you can achieve the extraordinary. So, upper schoolers, what you'll start to realize soon is that every day starts to become ordinary in just that. The days start to blend, and as soon as you'll know it, you'll be in grade 12 and applying to university. Each day, put in that little bit extra to make the ordinary become the extraordinary. And for the senior schoolers, we have really seen so many ordinary days, and we've lived our ordinary lives. But my challenge to you is to take on the next chapter of your life and perform with greatness and strive to achieve the extraordinary. So I'm going to leave everyone here with a challenge today. At some point, whether it's in, at lunch, in your next class, when you're at home tonight, or even an advisor, take five minutes to pause and jot down all the little ordinary things you appreciate in life. Write them down on that blank piece of paper and really think about why they mean so much to you. And the challenge doesn't end there. Today, take that extra second out of your day and hold the door for someone. Put your friend's tray away for them at lunch because it may seem so small, but it can be extremely powerful because to get from the ordinary to the extraordinary, it takes that little bit extra. And with that little bit extra, you will achieve greatness. So why not achieve the extraordinary? Now, imagine. <laughs> imagine all the possibilities we have to make our school, our community, our country, and even our world extraordinary. Imagine the impact we can make if we all dream big, work hard, and push ourselves. Imagine if we all achieve the extraordinary. Now may you all rise to sing hymn 423.